up now. It's the gold medal match in the compound women's division at the Sud de France archery tournament here in Nîmes in the south of France. Time to go for gold in Nîmes at the Sud de France Archery Tournament. Compound women's gold medal up for grabs. Well, two massive names going for gold here. Alejandra Escreno from Colombia takes on Andrea Becerra from Mexico. Becerra took the silver medal at the World Championships last year in Berlin. Back in 2022, it was uh, Tuxlala bronze for Escreno from Colombia. So a Pan-American affair going on here. And Esquino will get us underway. Who can hone in on the centre first? Didn't look happy with that, and uh, there is the result for Becerra. Trails by one after the first end. Nothing looked like it needed too much of a measure there. The uh, line judge looking down to the target judge, who will be checking everything, as you can see now. Well, chance for the coaches, John, and uh, there's a face I recognise. That is 2021 world champion Nico Buena from Austria. He's also been world field champion and world 3D champion. So, yeah, he's a really decorated shooter. And Esquino uh, usually has a, a, a gent in the box, that not here. Um, and we all know about the Esquino high five. Uh, pretty powerful stuff comes from her. It's a dangerous game being Alejandra's coach in these situations because <laughs> her high five come in at like, the speed of a speed of a lightning bolt. Uh, Esquino leads 29-28 after the first end. So over to Andrea Becerra. Nice. 
Look like a 10 to me, but we saw earlier in the competition that the lights here can play havoc. With what uh, looks like a, a 10 or a 9, sometimes very, very fine margins. Dialed in. So, nothing that looked too peculiar there. And looks like we're going to be all square at uh, 58 apiece. The quality we can expect to be very, very high here. So this is down to what? Nerves, mistakes, execution? This is going to die, be down to some real fine lines. Very unfamiliar territory. Both of these guys being at an indoor final, but they're both so experienced in outdoor finals. They've shot for so many World Championship medals, World Cup medals, both of them. You know, best known as, as 50 meter shooters outdoors, but you can shoot 50 outdoors, trust me, you can shoot 18 meters indoors. If you've got your gear, set it right, and these guys definitely have. This could be really close. Well, couldn't be tighter. Both archers have dropped uh, two points, two in the first end for Bethera, one in each of the ends for Iscueno. Does that tell a little story? A perfect from Bethera in the last end. Iscueno to shoot first in the third. Another drop point. Again, opportunity comes and is wasted. So 87 set from Esquino. She wasn't completely happy with that one, but gets away with it. And an 87 for Becerra as well. Yeah, Becerra's really good at giving them some steer when she needs to. She knows what her arrow's doing. And she really, she's good at reacting to it. Not always textbook and not what your coach wants to see, but if it is a skill you've got, there's no harm in using it. Where's the pressure most here? With, on Esqueno's side of the shooting line or Bethera's? I, I don't think either of them are under. I think, you know, it's great for them to come over to Europe to take part in a World Indoor Series. Uh, like this, obviously, you know, Andrea's here because of, you know, she's partners with Nico. And I imagine Alejandra's come because she wants the points to try and make the finals in, in Las Vegas in a few weeks' time. So, brilliant warm up for the both of them for that. And there's no real loser in this. So they'll both be really proud they've done it. Start of the fourth, then. It's going out. Shooting first. Tens pile the pressure on her opponent. Ten. 
But a reply of a 10 then switches the pressure back onto Esqueno because anything less than a 10 is an opportunity. Didn't look happy, and that is a well, a, an arrow that definitely needs a measure. Perfect, score. Perfect there for Escreno for a one twenty seven. Well, if ever you needed a ten. Right now was the time, a 105, uh, sorry, a 115 provisionally for Bethera. And uh, John, I saw your hand wobbling there on that second arrow. I, I felt it was just outside you. I don't know if it's in or out, but that's the first time one of them has really looked under pressure. There's been some ropey shots, but Alejandra looked, suddenly looked super comfortable and in control. And for Sarah, on that second arrow, the hard work, and she looked nervous. So she needs that to get marked up because two points is very comfortable lead. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put you under pressure. I'm going to put a lemonade on the fact that uh, Becerra's second arrow was a nine. Are you prepared to take that bet? I will. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Lemonade at stake here between myself and John Knott from Great Britain. Sarah has a lot more at stake, as John has said. Will it be a one point or a two point margin? Well, it is indeed a two point margin. 117 playing 115. A second arrow was indeed marked down to a nine. I shall take that lemonade the next time I see you in Lillishaw, John. Absolutely. For Sarah, two down now as we go into the fifth and final end, and that's gone low as well. Nine. Couldn't capitalise, but still holding the lead, so... Leveling up is enough. Ten. Final arrows from both of the archers now. Sarah needs a 10 to put some kind of pressure on. Leaves the door further open, a 143 set. Had to stay focused. She did just that. And Alejandra Esqueno from Colombia has taken gold here at the Sud de France archery tournament in Nîmes, France. We wait for confirmation, but provisionally it's a 146 to 143 win. And the hug, I think, is a concession from Becerra. That the gold in the compound women's competition has gone to Colombia's Alejandra Esqueno.